In the upcoming X-Men Apocalypse movie, Apocalypse, played by Oscar Isaac, chooses four mutants to help cleanse mankind, creating a new world order which he will reign. To show off each horseman, X-Men's official Facebook page revealed four new posters showing off each mutant as the four horsemen. The posters feature Magneto, Storm, Psylocke, and Archangel, with their symbols linking them to war, famine, death, and pestilence. Directed by Brian Singer, X-Men Apocalypse is written by Simon Kinberg and stars James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, Oscar Isaac, and Rose Byrne. The film will hit theaters on May 27th. Schnapp, what do you think of the new posters for X-Men Apocalypse? Very apocalyptic. Um, they're fun. <laughs> I like them. I, I think Storm looks like a little four-year-old or something, a little baby-faced <laughs> cheruby. Doesn't really look like the pictures of her or her in real life, uh, but I like them. I especially like the Magneto one. That one looks, you know, nice and bloody red. They're very colorful for how dreary this movie seems to be shaping up, where it doesn't look like the good guys have a shot in hell of winning, and that these four teaming up with Apocalypse seems to spell doom for the entire uh, country, the world, the the galaxy. It's a lot of scary stuff happening here, and I like the look of these posters. I think it's very artsy. It's very graphic novel looking, um, and I like the symbols that are associated with each one of them, so that's a cool look for me. So these posters, I think, they, they don't sell me on the movie any more than I already am because I'm pretty jacked for this movie already. Dennis, do these, these posters move the needle for you at all? Oh, for sure. If this was buy or sell, this would be a big buy for me. I think they're awesome. I think it's funny because I look at them and the first reaction I have is they almost feel like they're not from the studio because the studios always have like, at least most of the time, they have like these safe movie posters with floating heads and whatnot. <laughs> and these actually look really cool. These are the type of posters that I would buy. It, there's a reason why there's a big kind of uh, fan base for these like uh, Mondo posters and mm -hmm. these other things because usually studio posters kind of suck and these are really cool. I, I would buy these. Yeah, it's nice to see posters that, and, and like a lot of times I look at a poster, I'm like, would that catch my eye if I'm leaving a movie theater? And I like, it, like if I see one of these, I would probably have to do some research to find out it's an X-Men Apocalypse movie and everything that it involves. But just on their face, the way the posters look, it's such a cool stark contrast, like you said, Dennis, to what you would normally expect to see in an X-Men Apocalypse poster where it would just be every mutant in the movie lined up all like, you know, flexing. So I think it's a cool look. It's a different take for X-Men Apocalypse. It's come a long way since I don't know if you guys remember that first class they had some posters they were terrible yes <laughs> absolutely oh, right. terrible it was just like a photoshop like yeah, uh, right. professor x head oh, they, were magneto. Horrible. they were, they I, were honestly horrible. I thought right. an intern made them yeah and they're like all lined up weirdly like <laughs> yeah. different sizes like oh. that person's behind them but they're larger I, yeah, yeah. Really I think we bad. can all agree x-men first class should have been called x-men homecoming hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider